Hi YouTube, it's me, Miss Kelly, here with a uh, an unboxing. I haven't done one in a long time because I haven't really gotten any boxes in a while. Um, but I decided to go back to the Bariatric Pal um, subscription box um, simply because I've been kind of being a little bad with my snacking. And um, Bariatric Pal is a company that sells bariatric friendly snacks, foods, vitamins, anything you could need for uh, weight loss surgery. Um, so, and I am a brand ambassador, um, for them as well. And, uh, so I decided to go back to that. Um, I did see that there is a new, um, weight loss surgery, um, subscription box. It's called 180 degrees. Um, I have not decided completely if I'm going to get it just simply because, um, I have some questions on it. Um, but I may get it next week and give it a shot. But the Bariatric Pal subscription box is um, from their own personal website called bariatricpal.com. So these are, you know, snacks and products um, that you would need after weight loss surgery. Um, as opposed to this 180 degrees box, which kind of looks like a, um, a lifestyle box, kind of like a single swag. So I'm not sure about it yet. So anyways, all right, we're going to get in it. And unfortunately, I always I always get annoyed with these things just simply because I don't like that stuff. It's so wasteful. Okay, so the coolest thing I see here is a plate. Um, I mean, I'm kind of surprised that it is this big um, simply because you simply couldn't eat all of this in one sitting. But um, I do like how it is um, separated. It's actually really cool. Um, I'm just surprised that it's such a big plate, um, but in, in, the rega in regards to the protein, if it fits in the, if the size of your hand like this, then it's the right amount. So that's actually really cool. Um, again, it's not always going to be snacks. It's going to be a bunch of different things. So, okay. And the next thing I see is a Noragami gluten-free soy wrap, uh, sesame seed flavor. Now these are cool. I do, I do um, very well with um, wraps, opposed to bread. I can't eat bread anymore. Um, so these are made of soy. Um, they do sell ones that are made of coconut, um, which is really good. So I'll give these a try. It does say that these are 20 gra uh, calories, one gram of carbs and uh, two grams of protein. The protein does outweigh the gram of carbs. So that's not terrible. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Now these I have seen uh, rolling around online. They're called Marco Snacks. Uh, these look like, um, they could very well be a, um, like a cheddar, like a cheese it or something. Um, this is a cheddar cheese Mac Marco snack. Now it does say that it is 45% carbs and 30% protein, which really is 15% more carbs than protein. So that's not necessarily great, um, but I'm looking at it and I just wanna see what the kinds of uh, carbs are in here. Um, actually, no, this is okay, because it's pea protein, isolate, chickpea flour. Okay, so these would be okay um, these would be considered like a, um, in my diet, it would be considered to be a uh, complex carb because it's uh, made from pea protein and uh, although it does have palm oil in there, I'm not really a fan of palm oil products, but um, so the next thing I see here is, oh, these look cute, Stavita Natural Sublime Strawberry Hard Candies. And I see that there's like one and a half gram of carbs. Well, that's one thing you do have to be careful. Oh, actually, no, it's actually zero carbs because it's got one and a half grams of sugar alcohols. Um, these may become instant laxatives because of the sugar alcohol. So if you have that kind of reaction to sugar alcohols, you may want to go a little light on these. Um, so the next thing I see here is a, a Tim buddies gym buddies protein donut in cake batter flavor there's 14 grams of protein see now this is horrible 
It's got 22 grams of carbs, six grams of sugar alcohol. So it's 16 grams of carbs with 14 grams of protein. Um, um, that might be a bit much. Um, and then I see here, uh, Brahmi beans. I have had these before. They're a little weird. Um, these are balsamic and herb flavor. Um, seven grams of plant protein, one gram of carbs. They're not bad. Um, Brahmi beans, I believe, are made from chickpeas. Yep, they're chickpeas. Okay, cool. And then, let's see if there's anything else. Um, hmm. Oh, that's just the uh, listing of what's in there. Last time they for, they put something in there and they didn't give it to me. So, um, and I know they never sent it afterwards. And the last thing I see here is Super Seeds Gourmet Pumpkin Seeds. Um, I'm not a pumpkin seed kind of gal, but um, that's cool. Um, now, I haven't gotten this box in a while because the last time I got it, um, they gave me a whole bunch of alligator um, jerky, and I just didn't want to, I didn't want to be part of that. Um, would I say that this box has improved from the last time? Um, no, it's actually kind of not as good as it used to be. So I probably will not continue the Bariatric Pal box and just go to um, Walmart and stick to the um, Atkins snacks. Um, <sighs> I, I tell you, these subscription boxes are getting mm -hmm. to be a bit Frankie. ridiculous these days. Frankie. But um, out of the box. Thank you guys. Um, remember to hit that like button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't ever miss any fun on this channel. And thank you for coming by.